Hello and welcome to another episode of Maths with Lloydie. Today we're looking at the 2019 uh, summer core maths paper and this is paper 2B. Okay, so let me just show you the front page. Uh, let me scroll it. So it's this one here. Uh, my school do 2B, which is critical path and risk analysis. And that is what I will be walking through today. Um, hopefully I can get all six videos done today and get it all released. So question one, um, Helen is researching the amount of fat in 25 gram packets of ready salted and corn cocktail crisps for three brands, A, B and C. The table shows the amount of fat for each of the six packets. Uh, first of all, it says draw lines to match each box on the left to the correct box on the right. So the mean fat content of all six packets. So that's going to be 10.4 plus 9.5 plus 9.6 plus 10.8, plus 10.3, plus 10.6. And that's all going to be divided by six because there are six packets there. So uh, trusty calculator, don't do anything without your calculator in these exams, don't take any risks. 10.4 plus 9.5, plus 9.6, plus 10.8, plus 10.3, plus 10.6. And then we're dividing it all by six, which gives me 10.2. Is that an option on here? Yes, it is. We've got 10.2. Two zero. So there we go. Draw lines. Fantastic. The median. All right. So we've got the first, the smallest value, the second value, the third value will be here and the fourth value here because we've got six pieces of information. Our median is going to fall between the third and the fourth to split the two data parts in half. So 10.3 plus 10.4 equals 20.7. And then we halve that which gives us 10.35, and that is an option, so that will go all the way down to there. Okay, the difference in mean fat content between the ready salted packets and the prawn cocktail packets. So first thing I'm going to do is add up the prawn cocktails. So we've got 10.4, 9.6, and 10.3. That gives us 30.3, and then 9.5 plus 10.8 plus 10.6. That gives us 30.9. Okay, and then I'm going to divide them both by three. This one's 10.1, this one's 10.3. Um, and then the difference will be one take the other, which is 0.2, and that is an option just up there. So that's question 1A completed. All right, question two. Helen produces a bar chart to show the information of the six packets. Identify two errors in the bar chart. Okay, there's quite a few errors with this, but um, I'm going to go with what I think are the best ones. So for example, here, we've got kg so the y-axis is in kg rather than grams okay so we need that in grams um i think i also noticed one of the ready salted ones yeah so there is an error on here with the ready salted so ready salted there is at 10.2 ready salted at 10.2 not 10.3 so they made an error with that bar um, also just some other things we've got an error here with the um, no labeling of the what x axes so no label of x axes um, also i don't like people don't like these broken graphs okay so we should really start from zero for these bar charts always a good way to sort of criticize it um, anything else i can think of well if this is not in grams then of course nine kilograms is not going to work so really that should be 0 0.009 9. if they are going to keep the scale with the kilograms okay and then for part c helen buys a packet of brand b's prawn cocktail crisps weighing 160 grams this packet costs two pounds it then says helen thinks for every 10 pence worth of crisps in this packet there are approximately three grams of fat is helen correct assume that this packet and brand b's 25 gram packet of prawn cocktail crisps have the same fat content per gram show your answers to sweet working so we've got 10.8 grams per 25 grams. I'm going to want to know that what 160 grams has got. And 160 grams has got 69.12 grams of fat. So how we work that out? 10.8 divided by 25 and then times by 160 oops 10.8 divided by 25 times by 160 
Yep, that is the 69.12. So that's just scaling it up with proportion. Okay, so that's how much fat is in that packet of crisps. Now we've got £2.30. And if we divide that by 10, that's going to give us 23 lots of 10 peas. Now, finally, 69.12 divided by those 23 lots tells us that we're going to get 3.00521739 grams of fat per 10p. So in conclusion, Helen is correct. As you get... 3.00521739 per 10 pence. And that's the answer to part C. Hopefully that's useful. Um, this bit here, yeah, I had worked it out on my sheet of paper. And I hadn't wrote my rankings properly. I didn't actually write down how I worked that one out. But it was the 10.8 divided by the 25. That tells us um, fat per gram. And then by times it by 160, that gives us fat per 160 grams. Okay, thank you much. I'll hopefully get the other five questions done. I'll see you next time. Please spread the word and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.